I'm Officer Jonathan, all right, at ease. All right, um, I hope that you was edified, bro. A lot of good things came out. And that's revolutionary, bro, that you, you the, the, the edification that he gave you, which hopefully, hopefully encourages you to study more, uh, not just the Old Testament, but the New Testament, right? Which is the Bible, which is the Word of God, right? And it's in its entirety, in its totality, right? So, Lord will that happen, Lord will that happen sufficiently. But I want to give you now some things that you need to repent on as my people, as, as, as showing you love, brother. You understand? All right. Um, give me the book of, uh, give me the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30. Because I noticed you got, you know what that thing is around your neck, bro? It's an ump, right? And what does that ump come from? What is that? Who, whose symbol is that? That's um, an that's ancient Egyptian symbol. That's the symbol of the moon and things of that nature. Right, right, and it's and it's and it's for the Egyptians. That's a symbol of power for them, right? Okay, watch this, bro. Let's see what the Word of God says about that. This is the Book of Isaiah, chapter thirty, verse one. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel but not of me. Right. The Most High says, "Woe to the rebellious children." Right. Hope, matter of fact, hold that. Give me the command. I'm going to show you why the Most High caused us rebellious children for that, right? Because he told us don't do it. But in case you don't know, let's, let's, let's edify you. Exodus, yes sir, yes sir. All right, we're going to show you that the Most High, for starters, he said don't do that, all right? Now it's okay to have images, it's okay to have statues, it's okay. But when it becomes a, a spiritual thing, when it's a, a, a so-called uh, spiritual evoking, you know, uh, uh, power of the spirits and all that stuff, that's when it becomes sin, that's when it becomes wickedness, right? Even if you didn't believe in it that way, but the because you know our people believe in that thing and it's false. You know that another people believes in that thing and it's false. You should not wear that. You should not represent that. You understand what I'm saying? You know, as a man of God, as a child of God, you should dress how He said for us to dress. And we're gonna get that too, so you understand. You know the, the uh, uh, how we should look, how we should appear to the nations, to each other, right? Even our clothing, down to the littlest thing. The Most High, our Father, told us how to behave as His children, right? So let's get it. Let's let's find out why He calls us rebellious. You got it. The Book of Exodus, chapter twenty and verse four. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. That's because the nations were given all these dumb things to worship. They don't, the, the, the God is our God. You understand? He told for the children of Israel to worship him. You understand? He told the children of, of, of he told his children to worship him. The other nations, in their confusion, they deal with all those other things. They make things up. They 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 uh, uh, call Pharaoh called himself a god. You understand? The other nations call themselves gods. They set up uh, uh, institutions and and and, and uh, 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 celebrations for themselves to deify themselves. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's how the same practice with the onk and, and the thing is no different than believing in the false image of Christ. Where's that image of Christ at? Yeah, you see that image right there? It's the same, it's the same spirit. You're believing in a false image, a false deity, a false uh, 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 a religion. That's what you believe in, right? Go back, you got, no, go back to Isaiah. Come on. Isaiah 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children. So, the Most High is calling us rebellious. He said, do not do that. Right? Come on. Say of the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Because the counsel that we got is that this holds some type of power that if we wear it or that we believe in it, it invokes our power. It's, it's us returning to our power. Us returning to our heritage, our, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Our God, our spirit, our culture. But that's not true. Let's read on. But not of me. The Most High says you take counsel, but not of him. Not of him. Watch this. And that cover with a covering. That's a covering. That's a protection. That's a, that, Those idols, our people are big in idols. Even the cross. People wear the cross, right? I understood, but it's no different there. I mean, 
It's no, it's, it's no different. It has a different universal meaning. It doesn't have a universal, but what did God just say? Read it again. Go back to Exodus. Go back to Exodus 20. Let's read it again. Because you said, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. All right. You believe, but you believe that's your culture, right? Where in the word of God is it your culture? Where in the word of God is it your culture? In the Bible, it wouldn't be in the Bible. Right. So this, if it's not in the word of God, it is not your culture. Right. Give me, give me the book of Sirach, chapter 23, verse 24. Give me the 24, 23. I'm sorry. Watch this, brother. I'm gonna show you. That's not your heritage. That's not your culture. That is not for you. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna find your heritage. I'm gonna show you your culture, Lord's will, and I'm gonna, we're gonna get back to what that actually is. I'm sorry. The book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 24, verse 23. All right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. All these things are of are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Even the law. Even the what? Even the law. Even the book of Exodus that just said, Thou shalt not make any graven images, right? Even the law, which Moses commanded for inheritance. For a what? For inheritance unto the congregations of Jacob. So, AKA, Jacob, a.k.a. Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel are his sons, right? Which you are, brother. You understand? So you saying that that is your heritage or that is your culture is denouncing that Jacob is your father. Right, right. It's denouncing that Israel, you are a child of Israel, a.k.a. a child of God. Right, right. You understand? The heritage that we were given is out of this Bible. And that's it. That's right. That's it. Not the book of the dead, which that doctrine comes from. Right. You understand? In in 19, I'm sorry, 18... 16 if I'm not mistaken a Caucasian man went over to Egypt and created that entire doctrine for us to worship for us to learn from you understand the, the, the origins of the book of the dead the authors the the, uh, the composers are not our people brother they are the they are the other nations you understand we study it like it's our people but it's not of our people brother which is like no, the Egyptians. Yes, sir. No, sir. We were in captivity. Under, go to go back to go to uh, uh, twenty and two. Twenty and two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me that in the land of two. All praises. You're bringing up a lot of good concerns, bro. We're going. We're going. We're going. Lord's will expound on some of these things and clear up some yeah, confusion. I'm going man, because I'm just standing in the whole reggae fest. God bless y'all. Hey, all, that's, this is, bro, listen, the reggae fest ain't got nothing on your life. You understand? This is the most important thing you could be doing. You understand? Hey, bro. Yeah. We was talking about the ump, right? Yeah. All right. I want to bring out one quick point about the ump. Uh, pull up, pull up uh, my phone, right? This is the definition of the ump. And we're going to show you that. And we're going to show you the Ankh in the scriptures too, all right? All right, uh, read that. The first two paragraphs. Gotcha. The Ankh, also known as cru Crux and Sutter, the Latin for cross with a handle. The cross, you see at the bottom part, the handle, you see at the top. Read. Is an ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic ideograph symbolizing life. The symbol of that is life. Like you said, it's a deeper meaning to that. It goes into the spirit of life. Right? Read. The Egyptian gods are often portrayed carrying it by its loop. Who carried it? The Egyptian gods. The Egyptian gods. Not the God of the Bible. Not the Most High God. Not the angels, not the Israelite men, not the Israelite women. The Egyptian gods. Keep reading. Or bearing one in each hand, arms crossed over their chest. So the point is that the Ankh is a symbol for the Egyptian gods. So you say you believe in the Bible and the Old Testament. Let's see what the Bible says about the Egyptian gods. Exodus 12 and 12. It's a real quick point, and then you're gonna come back up. We're gonna deal, we're gonna show you why. We're not the descendants of the Egyptians. And you don't want to be a descendant of the Egyptians. That's right. You're a descendant of the greatest people on the face of this earth. That's right. The Egyptians got destroyed by the hand of the greatest God right. and the greatest people on the face of this earth. Right. So check this out. The Ankh is a symbol held by the Egyptian gods, right? 
to read. The book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt. The land of who? The land of Egypt. Read. This night. Uh -huh. And will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. So when the Most High sent the death angel, when Christ came through, he killed the firstborn of every man and every beast. Read. Both man and beast. Read. And against all the gods. And, and, uh, and what? And against. Against. All the gods of Egypt. Against all the gods of Egypt. So the Most High destroyed Egypt, killed all the firstborn, and he was against all the gods of Egypt. Right. right. What, what were those gods of Egypt holding? So what I, what I mean is, so by him saying that, right, is that acknowledging that there was some other type of supreme beings? Like, There's no other supreme that's beings. That's what I'm saying, but there was other beings that were higher than us. No. Can I say that? The only beings that are higher than us right now are the angels. Yes, right and they're only higher than us right now because we're in the form of men. But well, that's that's a whole other topic. The, the point is, all, all the, the Bible is going to speak. The, listen to what the Bible says. Finish up. Yeah, finish Exodus and then we'll go back to the God. Yes, sir. Verse 12. Hey, uh, brothers and sisters right here. Hey, y'all come stop and hear this real quick. Come check out these signs real quick. Before you go in there, real quick. Exodus 12, verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. The Most High executed judgment against all the gods of Egypt. And all those gods were holding the ark right there. You don't want to get judgment executed against you because you holding the same image of the gods that the Most High God destroyed. Right. Now the brother going to tell you real quick about the other gods. Oh, no, 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 sir. No, sir. No, sir. Matter, no, get Habakkuk 2 and, was it 2 and 18? Habakkuk 2 and 18. Matter of fact, yeah, go to Psalms. Get Psalms first. Then get me X 11 and 7. That's what you do. Yeah, get, yeah. Yeah, get Psalms, then Exodus. All right? Because that, the all, all praises, you know, that you're not, you know, I hope that you're learning, brother. You understand what I'm saying? I hope that you, I hope that you learn. Because it's going, after you learn, bro, you understand, it's, your, your life is no longer the same. You understand, you're making a decision. All right? Uh, you are to make a decision. You got, you got, so, the book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Who is the Lord? The God of Egypt or the God of I, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Who is the Lord? Our Father is the Lord. Right. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our fathers. Yes, right. Come on. <clears throat> he is to be feared above all God. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org